Very important environmental factor to measure for electrofishing is water conductivity. Water conductivity comes in two types, specific conductivity and ambient conductivity. Ambient is what we're concerned about with electrofishing. So specific conductivity is referenced to some temperature, often 25 degrees. So the reading you get when you take a specific reading is the conductivity, conductivity at that temperature, 25 degrees usually. Ambient conductivity is the actual conductivity of the water at that time and temperature. So that's why that's what is of concern with electrofishing. So you measure conductivity with a conductivity meter. There are many different types of models, some more complex than others. Some just take specific conductivity. Others will allow you to take specific or ambient. This particular conductivity meter is somewhat complicated looking, but it's, it's, I like it for teaching because it will allow me to do both specific and ambient conductivity. So to take specific water conductivity, we'll turn the unit on. And you see the abbreviation above the dial, ATC, that stands for automatic temperature compensating. So this unit will sense the temperature of the water and change the conductivity reading to what it would be if the water was 25 degrees at a 2% rate per degree is basically what this is, is saying. So if I go ahead and uh, take the reading, put the probe into the water, we see a reading of about 0.543 milli ohms per centimeter. And this unit, uh, this particular model, measures in uh, milliohm. So in electrofishing, we're concerned you know, more with micro ohms or micro siemens per centimeter. So just multiply that value by a thousand. So basically, we'd say here that the specific conductivity is 540 micro siemens per centimeter or micro moles per centimeter. If I wanted to get ambient water conductivity, I would turn the automatic temperature compensating feature off and measure again, place the probe into the water, and I get a somewhat different reading, around 465 micromoles per centimeter. So another important aspect of this or factor that I want to measure with this is water temperature. So I'll get the thermometer out, measure the water temperature. Water temperature is about 16 degrees Celsius. So when we're reporting this, we need to make the reader aware of whether we're talking specific or ambient. So if we're talking specific conductivity, we would say that specific conductivity was so much at a reference temperature of 25 degrees and the water temperature was X. If we're talking ambient water conductivity, we would say the ambient water conductivity was X with a water temperature of X. Okay, so I wonder if you only have specific conductivity. Some meters only measure specific conductivity, or you might just have historical data that just is specific conductivity. So again, we want to get to ambient conductivity because that's the actual conductivity of the water we're electrofishing. That's what's important for electrofishing. So we have a formula to convert from from specific conductivity to ambient, and basically it's our specific conductivity reading divided by 1.02 raised to the power, that's the difference between the specific conductivity, a specific temperature of the meter, often 25 degrees, and the actual temperature of the water. The two represents 2%, so for every degree, that the water temperature differs from the specific temperature, 
the difference in connectivity is 2%. So again, uh, specific connectivity, ambient conductivity, specific temperature of the meter, and the ambient water temperature. So if we go over here and, we, and look at an actual example, we, a few minutes ago, measured in the tank a specific water conductivity of 545 microsiemens per centimeter. The meter that we used was referenced to 25 degrees C. The water temperature in the tank that we measured was 16 degrees C. Now with that meter, we could remember, we could measure specific conductivity and ambient conductivity. So we took two measurements, 543 specific, but we also took 465 microsiemens per centimeter ambient conductivity. So let's, let's see how close we get. So we'll take this formula and substitute for specific conductivity our measurement, 543 microsiemens per centimeter. We divide that by 1.02 raised to the difference of 25 degrees, the specific temperature of the meter, minus the water temperature, which was 16. So that would be 543 divided by 1.02 raised to the ninth power, the difference between 25 and 16. Calculate that out. That gives us an ambient conductivity of 454 microsiemens per centimeter. Now, we again check that with our measured ambient water conductivity for our meter, 465 microsiemens per centimeter. The difference there is about a 2% difference, so pretty close.